Alrighty guys, how you doing today? Glad you came by. Oh uh, yeah, I was setting this thing up here. Setting this thing up here yesterday. I got a couple of four by fours down. And uh, I threw a sack of dirt on one end and a sack of mulch on the other to create a little trough. I threw this tarp over it, as you can see here. Just to create a little little tub and here's my coyote stabilizers in here these are for my snares I made ten of these things and uh, yeah made ten of them and we'll just leave them in here and uh, for about four or five days and I just put a whole big box of baking soda all over that that'll descent those and then I'll hang them over on the fence over here. But our mission, uh, while I was setting this up, I'm, I've got the 4 by 4s over there. I drug them through here, nice and easy, going to get it, right? Not bumping no hives, just walking by. Old Steve-O, peaceful-like, you know. Just a peaceful Republican, right? That's all I am. And all of a sudden... That Democrat hive right there with na nasty Nancy in it starts attacking me. Yeah, so I've had enough. I've had enough of Nancy, nasty Nancy. So our mission today is very quickly, hopefully, I gotta find Nasty. She's a nasty little girl, and we're gonna terminate her. And she's only a 20, she's a 2020 queen. I made her last season. But if she if she gets mated with a nasty Democrat drone, hey, this is what you end up with. And it's a constant battle. But it's just, you know, it's one of your challenges as a beekeeper to keep these things tamed down. Because we cannot have this corruption and, and, and just meanness in our little society world we're living in. You know, you're in Steve's you're in Steve's outdoor world now, see. And we can't have that. So we're going to go in here. Our mission is we're going to go in here, find her, and terminate her. And then I'll tell you about what else is going to happen after that. Okay. Okay, little buddy. You better get out of here, little buddy. Because this could get... Hello. 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 This could get really nasty. This could get really nasty, little buddy. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to slip you up under here. There. And I leave the little hole out so he can get out of there. Come out and eat some bugs at night, you know. All right, let's find, let's find Nasty Nancy, guys. Because... Oh, oh Steve, I've had enough. I've really had enough of this nonsense. And, uh... Yep, yeah, let's make sure she's not on this lid here. If she is, we can smash her real quick, but she's not. You know, these bees have just... This colony here has got a little attitude, too, but we're gonna let this let her go for a while. Let this one go for a while. I just went out on AccuWeather and looked into the future, and uh, obviously what we're actually doing here is a walk-away split, okay? It's a walk-away. See, I just got, I've, I've smoked them. <coughs> these, if these were Republican bees, they'd be chilling. They would not be uh, fighting me right now. They're coming out, see, they're fighting me. They hate this black camera. They hate black. I've got I've got Playtex gloves on. They can sting through these too, by the way. But it's not near as bad, uh, you know. So let's go down through here. Maybe we'll get lucky, and she's up top here. Maybe we'll get lucky. There is uh, nectar in here. There is uh, there is pollen up in here. I've been feeding them. Uh, I just dropped another bucket on them this morning over here on the tree around the corner. And they, uh, 
and they have uh, really, I mean, they sucked it down in two hours, guys. I mean, fast. They, they hit it fast. We have brood and eggs in here. It looked like a start of a cell. There's nothing, it's queen cell, but there's nothing in it. I want to look this baby over really good, guys. I do not want to miss this queen. And as soon as I find her, I'm going to grab her. And we're going to give her a uh, Stevo attitude adjustment, okay? She'll get the Stevo attitude adjustment. Okay, I do not see her here. A lot of bees in here. be a good frame to find her on right here. She's laying like crazy. This is a problem guys, you gotta be watching this kind of stuff. Now if you're out in the boondocks and you're not around people and stuff, I used to work in the 70s. I worked some very vicious bees, and I just went into a full monkey suit whenever I walked in the yard, and I dove into them. Now, in that situation, I was moving bees. I wasn't around people to speak of. So, you know, if you don't mind working mean bees, but if you're selling bees like I am, it's, it doesn't, you know, do too much good to your rep for your reputation. If you're selling really hot bees, the word's going to get out on it, and, and they're going to say, Steve-O, he, uh, yeah, he raises hot stuff, so whatever. I mean, it's just, you have to make your own decisions as to, as to what, you know you're getting into but for me here and Miss Daisy here she does not want to get stung by bees and who does who does want to get stung by bees you know yeah they're filling out this stuff I don't really like this plastic stuff guys I'm a wood, uh, I'm kind of a wood frame plastic cell guy, but I know a couple commercial guys, all they run, here's a, here's a high beetle running around, nasty little high beetle, let's just smash him, let's terminate him like we're going to do na nasty Nancy, yeah, Yeah, okay, let's go downstairs here, guys. Let's look this box over good here. She could very well be sneaking around on these side walls. Now, the plan here is to find her crusher. Give her a pinch. We're going to close this hive back up. We will close this hive back up, and we'll come back. We'll come back in four or five days, probably five days. I'll just put a, a, a alert on my phone. In five days, we'll come back. There's a propolis trap that needs replacing. It's getting plugged up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back five days and we'll get in this colony and we will crush every queen cell that we find
you know what's going to happen then, don't you? The bees are all going to go, oh my God, we don't have a queen now and we have nothing to work with. So they're going to freak out. And they're going to be crying for a queen. So what I will do then is go to one of my nice Republican hives, my nice calm girls, and I will uh, get a frame of eggs, bees and all. I'm going to take bees and all out of that hive. I'm going to leave the bees on that on that frame. I'm going to shake them off because if you shake them, you're just going to dislodge those nice eggs that you've got in there and they're floating in your royal jelly you don't want to shake and, and dislodge them the same way you would do if you were uh, if you were grafting you would do the same thing you would not you know shake that larva okay guys there she is there she is Nasty Nancy Crush Sorry Nancy I'll show you what we're gonna look at him Look like one of the flying monkeys come over You remember when the Queen got water on her and she melted? Yeah, that's one of her flying monkeys now I'm gonna put her here I'm gonna put her up here for a second, like that. It took me a while to find her. I went through this whole mess, as you can see, got everything scattered out all over. So then I went in and, I mean, I got bees all over me, right? I forgot my spotlight, so I went up and banged on the back door. Told Miss Daisy, give me my spotlight. She said, I'm not opening this door. You got bees all over you. Wonder if she didn't break my spotlight because she said back up. So I backed up about 10 feet. Back up some more. So I did. She opened the door real quick and threw out <laughs> threw out my flashlight. Yeah. She threw out my flashlight, guys. Luckily it didn't get broken. Yeah, I found her down in here. She's crawling around on the sidewall. Sneaky little na nasty Nancy. I'll tell you what, guys. That's a sneaky one there. All right. All right, these girls are going to be stressed out now, and they're going to be really pissed off, too. Because they don't have... They don't have a, uh, you know... A queen now. They don't have a queen now, and... Uh, so they're kind of going to be stressing out here. Make sure we got eggs in here. Yeah, it looks like we got some eggs in here. They can work on that. Start making queen cells to replace their net nasty Nancy. Yeah, they're gonna be just vicious here, guys. But that's okay. Now, here's what I do here now. I take net nasty Nancy and I'm gonna lay her right there. See? Look at the bees now gonna come around her. Look at them. They go, oh my God, what have you done, Steve-O? You've killed our wicked witch. You've killed our wicked, na nasty Nancy. Look at them, all over her. All right. So much for that. The Wicked Witch is dead.
They're stinging right through these rubber gloves, guys. It's not, it's not near as bad as barehanded. But if I come out here and took, look at this here, he's, st he's stuck, he's hung to my glove right there, see him? Uh, if I come out here and work these barehanded in my lightweight, easy going to get it be suit, you know, like you guys see me wear a lot, I'd have already taken at least 100 hits by these guys by now. Yes. And I can take a lot of hits, but it's just unnecessary and very painful. I don't care how long you've been working bees. I don't care how long you've been working bees, it's still extremely painful. The only difference is you don't swell up as bad because your immune system is higher. But the pain's still there. And they say no pain, no gain, but no, come on guys. We got more common sense than that, don't we? All right, I'm gonna put a mark on my phone. Date it. And I'll advance five days. I'll advance five days. We're gonna come back here and smash every one of those cells that these guys have remade because they're gonna make another nasty Nancy. So we don't want that. We got a 50-50 shot here of calming this colony down. But I'll go to one of my nice sweetheart Republican lives. Get a frame of bees and all. Now, I want bees and all. We're not shaking nothing off. You pull that out, you come over here, and I'm gonna slide it right down in the center of that brood nest. I'm gonna get a full sheet. I gotta have plenty of eggs on it. Bees and all. She's going right in the center. I'll grab one of those out, maybe the end one, we got some honey and pollen on it. It's going back as a replacement into the hive I stole it from. Okay, so that's how we'll roll. When we pull out that frame of eggs out of this colony over here, make sure you don't have your queen on it. Look that thing over super good. Because if you transfer her over here, these little wicked witches here are probably gonna kill her. And make sure you don't transfer your good girl over here. All right, so that's basically it. We'll put that frame of bees and eggs in there. I'll put a date on the top here. We'll come back in 30 days, 30 days from that date and see if we got a success story. I'll tell you what guys, I've been going around the, the block here. I got wild cherry blooming. There's a tree right down the road here. It's just blown out, wild cherry. The bees will just be swarming all over that thing. I mean, they're really hitting it. And my orange trees here in the swamp, they're going to be blooming real soon. End of this month, they'll be blooming. So, yeah, we got it going on. And uh, we're going to make some tame bees, guys. We're getting rid of these Democrats. We're going all Republican honeybees. See you on the next one, guys. Be happy, be strong, but we got to keep getting her on. See ya.